So we're going to see how to create a node project using a tab script rather than regular JavaScript. So for this tutorial, what I'm planning to use uh, are those packages. So first of all, I'm going to use I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use Homebrew, and I suggest you to install because you can use it to install Node.js plus a number of different uh, uh, packages. The second thing I want to uh, introduce you to is uh, MVM, which stands for Node Version Manager and can be installed if you go on the website, which I'm going to link in the description below. You can install by doing uh, by running this command or whatever the command is when uh, you are following uh, this tutorial. So you just have to follow those instructions because it really depends on your machine, if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, if you're on Linux, and they can change over time. So I would suggest you to use the instructions that are provided on the website. And then to code, what I'm using in is Visual Studio Code with a few extensions that I'm going to show you in a, um, in a second. So the extensions that I'm using right now that I recommend you to to use are auto close tag. Let me reduce the the size of the zoom. So auto close tag essentially what is going to do is going to create um, to the to when you open a tag, this tag is also going to be automatically closed, and I find it really handy when I work in uh, HTML or even with the React. Uh, auto rename tag is again for the front end and if you rename a tag or of any kind what is going to change is going to change also the second part without having to retype anything then use a bracket pair colorizer which makes handy when you have a lot of parentheses and if you use tab script if you use a c sharp uh, this makes your life much much easier um, also, what I suggest you to what I'm using, uh, which is trivial, uh, is material icon theme, which is why my icons here they look a little bit different. Um, and then finally, what uh, what I have is prettier for code formatting, and it's nice because when you write code, prettier will uh, take care of the formatting of the code for you, and I quite like it. Uh, and these are the main extensions that I use that I will recommend you for this project. So let's get started. Let's open our project. Uh, let's clear the, our console. And now what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to start uh, a new Node, uh, Node.js project. So I created a folder Apollo YouTube course because that's the idea is to do an Apollo and the GraphQL course. So npm init dash y. So it's going to default uh, all the different tags for this course. And it's going to create a package.json with this configuration that you, you just saw in uh, the terminal. Okay, let's clear our console. And now we're going to add uh, npm install. Uh, um, tab script and along with it uh, now along with it we're going to install the types npm install types node and this is a uh, development dependency and in here you can see we have our package.json which has the node dependency type as a dev dependency and type script as a main dependency version 4.1.5 which is the latest one um, and now the next thing we need to do for a type script to work uh, we're going to use a, a uh, tool called mpx and uh, this is comes with uh, uh, node.js which I will recommend you um, with the node version manager by the way I didn't show you 
uh, some commands that you can uh, run mvm list and you can do mvm use 15 which is the latest one so this is going to change but if I wanted to I could use for example version 12 or version 14 depending on what um, your specific project requires if you need uh, extra help to set this up maybe leave a comment below and, and I might do another video where I show you what is going to happen the next uh, bit is to create uh, a config file for TypeScript, which is called a uh, tsconfig.json file, where all the options for TypeScript uh, are going to be inserted. So the command is npx tsc dash dash init, which is going to, s you can leave it just init, it's going to create the tsconfig.json file. But here I'm adding a few options that are required and useful for our project. So, uh, root directory is going to be src, output there is going to be build, resolve json module uh, is an option that allows us to resolve, to import inside our file uh, json files, and this can be useful, uh, for example, if you have configurations, it's useful in case we use uh, dummy data files, which we might do during the project, I'm not sure yet. Uh, library is uh, ES6, what we're going to use. Uh, the module system is CommonJS. We are not going to allow JavaScript files in the project. We want uh, everything to be in TypeScript. And uh, this is a brand new project, so there is no need for, uh, for us to allow JavaScript. No implicit any is going to be true. It means uh, any variable that we define must be with a, with a type. We cannot leave a variable without any typing. If we want to do that for any reason, we need to explicitly set the variable to the type any. Target of the library, the output is going to be yes next, and we can do this because we are not 615. And then the last option, yes module interop, is set to false because we don't want to use older type of yes module systems. So we press enter. And this is going to create a tsconfig.json file with all those options set for us. So the next bit, since in our tsconfig.json we set our root directory to be source, we're going to create a source directory and a file called index.ts. So we go, we create a src slash index.ts uh, and in here we can do a console.log hello from TypeScript and now in the terminal we go back in our terminal we can do mpx tsc and it's going to compile the file so we set the build to generate our output so this is what app script is going to run however what we want to do we i want to add a little bit of items that can help us to run the project and not to have to worry about rerunning a command every time we make a change so how do we do that we do that with a package called notmon so npm install save dev and we're gonna use TS node and node bond. Node bond, while well, it installs, I can explain to you, is going to watch our file system, depending on the configuration we provide, with a few items. And those items that are going to be added, uh, every time you change a file, node bond is going to pick up and restart uh, the compilation project uh, and uh, tell us what to do. So what uh, Nodebone is expecting uh, is expecting a file called uh, which we need to have in our root directory called nodemon.json and inside it we're going to put a watch variable which is going to say src which is our module directory we can define which extensions to use in this case is .ts 
or for example, you can add .js as well if you if you wish in uh, your project. I'm gonna add it as an example. Ignore. It's going to be empty. We want everything to be compiled. Anything that changes, we want to fire a uh, recompile. And exec is the command that we want to run. TS node, which is a node TypeScript node. And every time this happens, src slash index .js. TS node is just for um, development uh, uh, purposes. Now, how does the node mode uh, node mode works? So if you do node mode, it's going to watch. And now it's complaining about something. Uh, Oh well, this is of course it doesn't exist because it's dot ts. So let's restart Nodmon. Okay, so it run as you can see. Now if I make a change in here and I save, automatically this is picked up, and you can see that the edit uh, is picked up in here. If I add a new file. As you can see, this one is not going to be uh, seen because I will need to import it, of course. However, as I edit the file, Nodmon is actually picking up the fact that there is a new file has changed, and therefore it has to restart the project. Let's delete this file. And now, in our package.json, we are going to add uh, line in order to make it uh, a little bit nicer. So we're gonna have a a start dev command different from start that is usually used for is usually used in a production environment. And the command is not mon. So let's stop this one. npm run start dev and this is going to start our command with uh, uh, every uh, with the package.json so any developer that is in the co in the project doesn't have to know about nodmon or about the configuration because everything is in here and well this is everything to set up a project uh, with uh, node.js now you're going to do uh, git init and I'm going to put all of those contents on github for everyone to reference. I'm going to also add uh, dot git ignore file in here in order um, in order not to commit all the modules directory or the build directory. Uh, see you in the next lesson.